All right. SDK 7046 teardown. Got the USB port right there. Let's see here. It looks like we got eight screws total, four on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty. I have taken out every screw. But it, uh, does not desire to detach. Oh, there that one goes. Looks like it does have clips right there. Yep, it is connected, but there, so. Do the same on this side. Hmm. <laughs> I think that this piece is glued in. Could just be friction fit. There is serious resistance. No glue that I can see. What I'm doing to take this thing apart, it's a little bit unconventional. Okay, so, uh, there's one screw. Where is it? Oh, this side is the side of the battery, so it's a little different. See, if you bend it, it's pretty freaking flexible. So you can bend it and get your screwdriver in there at an angle. And that does work. The other screw is chilling right there. It's a lot easier to get to. Okay, it's clipped in, so you don't need to remove that battery. Uh, it's just clipped in there. This clips it in there. Okay, well, huh, close enough for jazz for me for a teardown. We can see that there's the micro switch for the shoulder buttons. Right there. And there is the ribbon that connects the two sides. Chilling right there is the battery, which I did not take note of, but I presume it is a 400. Yeah, four, uh, sorry. 400, 1.48 watt hours. And they're all 3.7 volts. The rumble on this side is chilling there. The rumble on this side. I think is going to be this right here. Well, let's see, we got one screw, two screw, and one screw, two screw. Looks looks like two screws on either side. So, oh, wait, but first, so the, uh, that part is your trigger. And then that is what the trigger then hits. That's the micro switch for the trigger. Micro switch for the bumper. There's a ribbon connecting to the uh, 
joystick, which is weird. I've never seen a design exactly like that before. Lost the plus button. Found it, but it still fell out. I don't know where the minus button is. Hmm. Fun. There you see the membrane for the buttons. Face, nope, D-pad. I don't know why I was thinking those were the face buttons. Uh, not D-pad, but D-buttons. Oh, that's not the plus button. It has a plus on it for where it touches down and hits the micro switch. Try not to lose it on this side. Now we know that there is a ribbon connecting to the joystick, which is good. Yep, yep, yep. Same exact on either side, which is neat. Well, there you have it. It's a little more cumbersome to tear down than it should be. It did work okay, though. I had the most fun playing Smash Cart with it. It worked fine in Splatoon. I just don't enjoy asymmetrical in Splatoon. It's not a fun experience for me. But it worked great in Smash Cart. When reassembling, uh, just hold the board. When you're when you're pretty sure you have all the buttons in place, just hold the board, and then hit all the buttons. At least on my end, like yeah, that is not that does not look fully in but apparently it's in enough oh i almost feel like i should leave well enough alone yeah i'm just gonna leave well enough alone and then i just hold this together Get the screws in there. I'm squeezing down pretty tightly on the shell. 